Um, I'm Courtney Amelie, and I have been a part of the launch team um, since it started, so a part of MDC from the beginning. And I think what I've loved about MDC the most is how much this community um, grows the people that are a part of not only the church, but the local community as a whole. I have been involved in helping kind of do the art walks and some of the things we've done in the community, and we love to learn what people are passionate about and encourage them, whether that's a startup business or a new company or a new event in the area. And so church planting is just something that comes right along with that. We as a church really value people's strengths and so we all had to take Strengths Finder and then learn how can we best serve this area. And so for some people that's that they're going to plant a church, some people that's starting events, some people that's helping others with their business plan. So for us this community has always been very entrepreneurial and sort of outwardly focused and I've loved being a part of that um, and have loved sort of helping in that role and I'm really excited to see uh, some of the, the seeds that we've already planted, where those go in the future, and hope that we'll just continue to do that in more and bigger ways in the coming months and years. All right, I'm Scott, uh, and I've been at NBC for about two years since really the beginning. Uh, to me, being a part of a church that plants other churches, it's a, it's a beautiful opportunity to uh, set up families and churches in a place where they're contextually appropriate. A lot of churches, people drive in from all over the place and it's not really their neighborhood. And so to have a church in your neighborhood that represents who you are and what the neighborhood is, uh, you have a real sense of belonging that, that doesn't happen in a lot of other places. So I think it's a, it's a beautiful representation of the church and it's really exciting to be a part of. My name is Liz Lynn. I am an elder at NBC. And what I love about being part of a church that plants churches is that it's such a different model of doing church. Instead of erecting a building and asking people to come to us, being a church that plants other churches allows us to go into different communities and to actually be a part of the community um, in a way that the kind of traditional model of doing church hasn't really allowed for. So I love that you know, we are a small community that is about building other small communities that can really engage in the neighborhoods and where people can really know each other and do life together. So I, I really value that about NBC. I'm Dave Anderson. Uh, the Lord used me to uh, give the inspiration to our presbytery for the establishment of uh, new ch in the new church planting. And this is the first church that we planted and we're looking forward to planting uh, five to seven more. Uh, right now we have the financial funds for three more and I'm super excited that we're able to do this with the Lord's help. Um, it's been exciting as you can see and tell by talking to some of these uh, young people at this church and that's another exciting thing that these young people are being e exposed to a new church plant so that we can reach and others to new other new churches uh, in the future. My name is Shelton Oakley Hersey. Um, I've been going here since the conception. Well, actually, I guess when it opened to the public, conception of NBC, and it means a great deal. Um, I feel like for me. I grew up in the Presbyterian Church, actually my father's a PCSA pastor, and when I found NBC I could tell that they were contextually responding to the community and that they were stepping into a community where people could come in and allow themselves to be who they are and allow that to define the church versus the church being a, de a definite like structure in which somebody must fit into and that really resonated with me and so actually now my husband and I are um, feeling called to go overseas and serve internationally and the exciting part of NBC and the role has shifted in our lives and now the community sees themselves as wanting to kind of plant with us like a global church and, and be a part of the community development work that we want to do and actually partner and not just partner in in resources but in prayer but also what it would look like to be a part of a reciprocal community in another part of the world and learn from them and learn about church and ecclesial, ecclesial communities and 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 how to love one another and so that's been the most exciting part about being at, at NBC now. My name is Dave Fisher and I'm one of the elders at NBC and have been a part of it um, since the beginning, since Nick was actually just talking uh, kind of around the neighborhood about the idea. And um, 
I think what's unique about the church and what I really like is that it's small and that um, the what I hear everybody talking about is starting other churches and kind of spinning off ideas and really kind of embracing the creativity of others and not so much about seeing our church get any bigger or um, or or do anything too grand but to empower other people to do the things that they want to do and I think that um, maybe initially that's kind of underwhelming and it didn't feel as exciting as an emotional experience week to week but over the long term that's been really substantive and really been the thing that um, that feels special about the church is if it, anyone has an idea um, Nick, the leadership, the elders, the community, everybody's happy to say, oh, connect with this person, uh, talk to that person, like, let's see if we can make this happen for you. And so that applies to churches starting, but I think right now more so it's applied to just ideas in the community. So like, whether it was the Art Walk, um, recently the Simplicity Sale, um, whether it's small groups forming around a particular topic, there's kind of this energy that like, um, and because no one else will do it, it's like, if you have an idea, someone's like, why don't you go do that? And it's really empowering though, it's challenging, um, but it's been really empowering. Yeah, my name is Charles and this is Dolores. And we ju we're, we're, bl we're both blind and we'd like to say that uh, we enjoy having a church, a Presbyterian church that's close by to us where we can attend and have fellowship and have easy access and uh, also that's all a uh, church that's involved with our local community which we find very helpful i'm just very thankful for this church and i'm thankful for everyone that um greets us very well and especially Nick. He went to the hospital to visit me. Nick took Charles to visit me at the hospital and that was, meant a lot to me. And with the power of prayer, we believe that this church has, you know, I am walking. I came out of the hospital and I couldn't even walk. And now I'm walking again. And I thank the Lord for this church. Uh, my name is Adam Steverson. And uh, NBC uh, it means, means a lot to me to be part of both a church that is part of the neighborhood um, and really cares for the neighborhood, uh, but also cares for planting churches um, everywhere. Uh, because I think sometimes we may have, we may think of it as, as a dichotomy between, oh, this church really, you know, looks to have a mission-oriented focus and this church really focuses on discipleship. Uh, one of the things that really strikes me about NBC is that the, the focus on the neighborhood and on planning other churches for me is discipleship uh, because in the Gospels you have Jesus leading his disciples and they're always uh, on the way you know and, and that's one of the early names for Christianity and I'm actually uh, doing an internship at NBC right now and it is so amazing to uh, to be able to serve and think about the people in this area but also to use our time and our resources uh, to really get other people equipped to, to go and plant churches because uh, it's really this exercise of selflessness. Um, and, uh, and I love that exercise of selflessness because when you're giving and giving and giving, uh, then all of a sudden you, you learn you know more about Christ and you learn more about uh, following Him. Uh, and so in the end, it turns out to be a really great exercise of discipleship as well. My name's Carol Casperson, and I'm on session at Northland Village Church. And the thing that I want to say about Northland Village is that I think we have really, we talk about calling a lot in the Presbyterian Church, but here it's really on the ground. When we see people in action, part of the thing that we do is to help identify those people who could, are going to go someplace else. Most churches work to have people come. We work to send them out. And I'm truly happy to be part of a church where we're embedded in a community. We aren't, uh, we aren't just the church on the corner, but we actually participate in the community. And I'm thankful to be here.